follow-up to my story yesterday. I recently took a self-defense class following my terrifying close call with a would-be attacker while I was out for a run. Somebody's coming at me, and I go, back off! There's a good chance they're going to back off. I agree. So I met Stun Gun Jen, and she showed me some simple but powerful ways I can protect myself if it ever happens again. If we ever need this protection, we're going to learn from her. Yeah, Stun Gun Jen is here in studio, and I'm keeping my distance. <laughs> I got You're you. on that side of the yeah, desk. In the middle yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, thank you for being with us tonight. I got an overwhelming uh, response from people. A lot of them saying, I didn't realize a stun gun is legal in California. Oh, absolutely. And that's something I get asked all the time. People don't think they can carry a stun gun and they think they need a permit for pepper spray. And both of those are not true. So actually a 16 and 17 year old can also carry both of those tools as long as they have parental written consent. They just can't buy it for themselves. And then 18 year olds, or 18 year olds and above, as long as they don't have a felony charge, can also carry any of our tools for self-defense. And what are the tools? What'd you bring with you? So I brought my favorites with me. I brought the alarm that we talked about last night, the Hear Me Out. Uh, the reason I love this one is because I can literally take it anywhere without any problems because it's not a weapon. But more than just an alarm, this is like your own personal bat signal. This is the one that's going to alert your loved ones that you're in trouble and send your GPS locations so they can get you help. But it's very important that we have something to actually protect us in the moment as well. So I brought my favorites. Um, I brought them in red because I know that's part of your logo. So I brought the stun gun. Now, this is how I personally carry. I carry three weapons with me all the time. Actually, one of these shouldn't be on here, but that's our breakaway. This is our stun gun. Okay. It's my favorite simply because I can stop someone at a distance as a deterrent or I can use it if they're up close. So even if they grab me from the back. Okay. And if it's taken, it can't be turned against me mm -hmm. with ours. So how does it work? And, and yeah, it shows how it works. Super easy. So I have this little key in the bottom here. Um, I ring my pinky through here. There's a reason for that. But it's super easy with one quick switch for the flashlight, and then you have the stun. <laughs> Right, and it is a direct contact weapon. For them to feel it, you have to touch them. It's not something I could stun you from here. Right. That's a taser. That's, a taser. That's different. Right, right. right. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. So when I tried it, may I? Can Absolutely. Alex try it? Sure. Of course, we're not going to be stunning each other. Okay. Uh, but you've <laughs> never done this. I did this, and I was very surprised yeah. at how it feels. So you which switch is switch up, put the switch up, and, and then, then hit you... your. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it, yeah, there's no you, kickback. There's no kickback at all. Right? Yeah. No, but the yeah. sound is something. That's kind of fun. Okay, all right. All right. You let's expected turn this. it, though. I could tell yeah. by your body yeah. posture and your reaction at first, and then it was yeah. like, oh, wait, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. It, and this can really disable somebody. I it, mean, I did get a little, some response where, you know, that's not going to do anything if somebody, it, it, hey, it's better than nothing. 100%. Uh, now, it's not, it's not like in Hollywood where it disables somebody. You can carry them off and question them later. It's meant to create pain. So it causes a spasm in the muscle group you hit, and it can wear out that muscle. So if I hit somebody in the thigh, good chance they're going to the ground. Not guaranteed, but good chance they're going to hit the ground. And even if they can't, running after me is going to be very difficult. What's the best place to hit them? Large muscle groups. So chest, abdomen, and thighs are the best places. Not the groin. <laughs> well, as we all know, that's not a large muscle group. Okay. But, <laughs> but it would still be extremely painful. So I'm not going to say stop and aim. I'm yeah. going to say hit what you can, hold okay. it as long as you can. They're not going to let you hold it longer than a second. Yeah. The I idea is Jen. get their hands off you so you can get away. What we recommend, stun and run. Don't stick around and admire your work. Right? You okay. get somewhere safe, you call the police. Yeah, and, and you, you do go around to companies and you, you're a safety trainer. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. properly introduce you. Her name is you Jennifer did. Lester, Stun Gun Jen. And you do go around and you do teach these courses about yep. protecting yourself. Companies, so, home parties, yep. you name it. Well, you have a website. Let's show that to everybody if you'd like to. And by the way, this is this runs about seventy nine ninety nine. The Stun Gun Alone. Yep. Yeah, Stun Gun Alone. It's StunGunJen, very simple, dot com. StunGunJen.com. Check it out. Damsel and Defense is the company that yeah. you are associated with. Thank you so much for educating us. Thank you guys for having me. You had the line of the day in Marla's story <laughs> yesterday and you had the line of the day again today. Yeah. Yeah. That's something I Leave won't forget. Okay, <laughs> thanks so much.